I know it's not really signified per se in the cards, but I am getting a strong indicator that some of you are going to be proposed to or you're going to be proposing in the month of July. So that's pretty exciting. And congratulations to you if that applies. Um, I also want to say some of you are finding out about a pregnancy this month. Either you're pregnant or someone in your family is pregnant. And it's positive news. It's a happy time. Now, in the beginning of the month, however, um, it looks like there's a lot of confusion for you about what you want to do. I kind of feel like you want to, you want to make more money or you want a promotion of some kind. Um, but you're not quite sure how to do it or where to go or how to go about it. Um, it can be that or it can be that you have multiple opportunities opening up to you in the early part of July. And it's almost like you have to make a quick decision about which way you want to go. There's like a time constraint to this. So if you're offered a job, it may be that you have to accept it um, right away or you have to start right away. Um, or it can be that you need to respond. There's something here about you need to respond right away. So I want to say as far as like your email and your accounts, you know, your phone, Make sure you're checking it regularly, especially if you're applying for jobs, because I feel like in the beginning of the month, some there's offers or opportunities coming in, but there's something you need to act quick on, okay? And you need to respond to quickly. Hmm. I feel like there may be talks at the beginning of the month about money or finances, maybe between you and a partner or a roommate or somebody you live with. Um, there may be talks of, let's balance things out, let's make things more fair. Um, maybe you have been kind of manipulated by someone and I feel like you've been paying more or you've been doing more of something. And this month it's about bringing the balance back in that relationship. Um, it may be a bit of a fight to do so. But I feel like you're going to be victorious in getting what you want because I think you're realizing that in order for us to have a true, fair partnership, it's going to be, have to be one where we're equally giving and taking in this relationship. Financially, emotionally, spiritually, or however that applies to you and your situation, okay? Um, let's see. I'm really happy about this last row. I mean, this looks really exciting. We have the Two of Cups, the Sun, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, family situations, romantic relationships, I think are going to be very positive this month. I see you celebrating. I want to say some of you may be going on a family trip, planning a family trip, going um, maybe to a beach, I want to say or going to visit family like um family that you have you know that's like older i want to say like parents or aunts or uncles um grandparents i see that being a big part of this and i think that this travel or this time spent with family in july is going to bring your romantic relationship closer if that does apply to you okay so let's look at this with the Gypsy Oracle cards to clarify the reading. And honestly, it's a very positive reading. I don't see, I mean, there's a little bit of, you know, conflict here with the Five of Wands. But I don't think it's anything that's going to be overwhelming for you this month. I think it's just a matter of you figuring out, you know, how am I going to handle things? What's fair? What's not? And you're standing your ground for yourself and telling others, you know, look, this is what I need. And I think others are going to come through for you. I want to look at the Seven of Cups first. Oh, that did not work. Let me try that again. Come on now. Why do they not want to shuffle? That's new. Let's look at the Seven of Cups. Mm. 
Um, I feel like for some of you, maybe there's some confusion or doubt or hesitance, um, if that's a word, <laughs> about a relationship or your commitment to a relationship or someone's commitment to you. I feel like you're wanting answers and you're wanting clarification, especially because we have the haughtiness card and this is coming up on the Seven of Cups. Haughtiness talks about arrogance, confidence, but it's also about showing one's true colors. So I feel like you're wanting answers and you're wanting to, to things to be revealed and to see things for what they are. Let's look at the Five of Rods. Again, um, the Five of Rods is talking about a conflict within a relationship, possibly a romantic relationship. I want to say for some of you, this is what I'm getting. You may have been the type of person who put an ultimatum on your, on your partner and said, look, if we're not engaged by this time, or if I don't have a ring on my finger by this time, we're going to have to end it because I, we've been together long enough. And I feel like this is the month you're getting a proposal, okay? Um, but with that being said, on the Five of Rods, there's something here about a conflict uh, with an agreement or a negotiation that you have with somebody. You put a lot of thought and consideration into this and you're realizing again, you know what, things don't seem fair to me. So we need to renegotiate this. We need to work on this. And that's when we have a little bit of conflict, but that's okay because in the end, it ends up with the Ten of Pentacles. And let's see what the cards say about that. Restoring hope and renewing hope. Maybe someone in the past, again, took advantage. We have the pleasure seekers here. So this could be someone who's selfish or someone who's just out for their own pleasure, out for their own needs, someone who acts foolishly. Um, and here we have hope in restoring this relationship. The room card talks about secrets, intimacy, things that we keep to ourselves. With this coming up on the Ten of Pentacles, I see... I see that we're able to resolve any um, conflict that we haven't been able to communicate in the past. And we have renewed hope and restored hope in this relationship. This can be a family dynamic for some of you. It can be a sibling or a cousin or something like that where there's been some, you know, uh, look, things aren't right, things aren't fair, we need to balance things out. It can be a romantic partnership too with the Two of Cups. One thing I like to point out with the Two of Cups is sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean a romantic relationship. It can mean someone that you just have a connection with that you just feel like, you know, we're really in tune. Yeah, we're mending this relationship this month. We're mending it with the, with, um, the enemy card, the service card, and the pleasant surprise. This man goes fishing, and instead of pulling up fish, he pulls up actual money. So... It's overcoming, you know, being at odds with one another with the enemy card, service card saying we're overcoming that, and it's a pleasant surprise. It's a happy turn of events. You see that with the sun card and the ten of pentacles here too. So vocalizing your truth, speaking up for yourself, and getting what you want this month. Very good. That's the overall message, really. Let's look at what's coming in regarding love for Pisces. Oh. That's just a misshuffle, guys. I'm not going to count those cards. Sometimes you can just tell when it's you or it's the cards, you know? <laughs> All right, I think that's good. What's coming in for love? We got, again, the Two of Cups, guys. Four of Swords. The Moon. Eight of Cups. The Death card. The Sun. Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, overall energy is the Knight of Swords. So let me see. 
this again is going to be for singles and couples and I think I'm going to start with couples um, because what I see here is I feel like there have been talks about possibly ending a relationship but this is a relationship where um, you know at one point you really felt in sync with this person you really felt like you connected I think this is a person that you they still have your heart okay um, and you don't want to have to walk away but I kind of feel like you feel like you're running out of options or you don't know what to do and there's a lack of communication here or there's a sense of separation between you and your partner the cards are saying there's a need to be honest and and confront these issues head-on but you need to communicate there's a lack of communication with your partner and that's really affecting the relationship if you don't work on the communication aspect, there may be an ending to this relationship. I know that it's highly emotional. I can see that here. There's a lot of emotions that are kind of on the surface. But we have the moon and the sun here, okay? And this is talking about things that were hidden are now coming to light. Secrets are being revealed. In order to heal things and mend things, we need to take things um, from the subconscious level and bring them to the light. Just like when we're trying to heal on a personal level. You know, we can't work on what we don't acknowledge. And so, in a relationship, it's the same way. You have to acknowledge what's there in order to fix it, in order to make peace with it. The Knight of Swords is the overall energy is telling you communication is certainly necessary. Okay? Now, it is going to bring a lot of emotions to the surface but it is going to create a transformation. It's going to create an opportunity for you to, to really start anew with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the tarot, and he is the slowest moving knight because, look, he has this one pentacle and he wants to invest it wisely. So this is someone who takes caution and moves slowly, you know, really analyzes their surroundings before they decide to tread on. So this is something that you're going to have to do in this relationship where it's like things aren't just going to be fixed overnight because we've had this great communication. I feel like whatever, whenever you talk to your spouse, yeah, there may be initially some conflict, but I feel like the end result is going to be something you're very happy with. Um, because if you just hold it in, I mean, look, you're just, your emotions are overflowing. You got to get, you got to let it out. You got to speak your truth. Okay. Um, for those of you that are single, I feel like you've been manifesting what kind of partner you want. You spent a lot of time thinking about what kind of relationship or what kind of partnership you really want. And I feel like this is the month in which that offer may be coming in. And it may be from an air sign, so that would be an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Or it can be from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, if it's coming in from an air sign, I feel like this is going to be via social media or some type of written communication, okay, that you start talking to this individual. Um, but I feel like you manifested this person. This is actually a really, really positive month. I think there's some confusion initially. Um, some of you may be considering going back to an old partner, but at the same time you're working on manifesting something new, like you're wanting a new kind of relationship, and you, you've kind of been thinking about what kind of partnership would work best for you. And I think it's funny because it's like, as you're thinking about this ex, that's when this new person comes in. And it's going to create some confusion for you about what you really want. But I think this person that's coming in, can I, I want to say this too, it can be a Scorpio, okay? Whoever this person is, I feel like this is going to change your perception of relationships and love. And I feel like those hidden subconscious needs, desires, even I want to say I'm getting like sexual desires, that you haven't openly expressed or shared or coming to the surface in this new relationship, okay? 
So I think it's a very positive thing. However, the cards are saying take your time. Communication is going to be swift. So I think right away this person is going to be telling you or you're going to be telling them, hey, I'm really interested. Um, but the card, the Knight of Pentacles is saying take it slow. You know, don't don't rush into it because there's a lot of emotions here. We see that with the uh, Ace of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here. Maybe, you know, it's like, oh, this person's everything I ever wanted. I've worked on manifesting this person and they're here. But still, take your time. So let's clarify this now. And I want to look at the Death card first. Some of you may be wanting or thinking of ending a relationship because it's toxic, okay? Because this person's a, a acted foolishly or behaved foolishly in your eyes. And with the death card, this being on the death card, you may decide to end it. But for others of you, it may be the transformation in your relationship takes place because you're acknowledging that you two are acting foolishly in your relationship. And it's going to end if you don't stop acting foolishly. Things aren't going to pan out if you continue to behave this way. Okay? And that can be either you or him or the both of you. Him or her, I should say. It could go either way, you know? It's like either it's both of you or it's just you, but... There's foolish actions and behaviors here, and there's acknowledgement that this needs to change in order for us to be happy, to be healthy in our relationship. Let's look at the moon here, because I want to see what these secrets are, or what's underneath the surface. Okay, so yeah, there's some strong pondering about whether or not this relationship should end. We have the depth card, the joy card, and the, and the side card, which is about leaving a lover okay um so there's a lot of fear maybe doubt anxiety about a relationship and it's like there's acknowledgement that at one time there was a lot of happiness here but now there's consideration as to whether or not it should end okay and there's sadness linked with that because i feel like you're reminiscing on a happier time now, for those of you who are single, I want to say that these cards talk about... Misfortune card doesn't have to be misfortune. It's like the tower and the rider weight. So it's like big, shocking changes taking place. Can be for some of you, while you're out enjoying yourself, you find somebody, it's a shocking event, and there's a new relationship on the horizon with the merchant card talking about agreements or contracts. And that would be a big transformation considering you're single from going from singlehood to, you know, being in a relationship. Now, with the moon card for singles, I want to say again, transformation with the death card. We have the death card twice coming up here. Um, transformation, a joyous time, and leaving behind what's no longer serving you. And that can be singlehood. Saying goodbye to an old, an old way, an old, an old way of being. There's also a message here for you singles. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable in a relationship out of fear of being rejected at some point, okay? You gotta be vulnerable in relationships in order to truly experience them. Let me look at the Seven of Cups here. Seven of Cups for couples. Uncertainty about whether this relationship, again, should end. There's something new, however, on the horizon. So, I want to say there's something new coming in that's a blessing. Now, it's helping you acknowledge the falseness or deception in your relationship, which is causing maybe some confusion. But again, when things come to the surface, that's how we deal with them. That's how we process them. And that's the only way we can move forward, right? So... I'm, I'm getting a strong feeling for those of you who are coupled. There's just a lack of communication with this, with this partner, with this twin flame, I want to say. you got to communicate to figure out where you're at. 
Now, some of you may be able to work that relationship out and some of you may not. Some of you may realize this is just not going anywhere. We are not going to be able to work on this. There's a lack of give and take. There's a lack of equal partnership here. Um, for those of you who are single on the Seven of Cups, the, these cards really talk about, um, I want to say there's some, like, with the Falseness card, there's some, like, pes not pessimism, but, like, self-doubt. There's doubt about this partnership that's coming in, this new relationship that's on offer for you. It's a pleasant surprise. It's new. It's exciting, right? But there's also a fear here. And it may be caused by a past relationship that didn't work out or pan out well for you. Finally, I want to look at the Knight of Pentacles, which is the last card in this, in this reading. And I'll leave these cards upside down. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are going to be able to, to correct the relationship. Consistency card talks about... We're not ending the relationship. Things are remaining the same. We're still together with the wedding card. Either you're married or you're in a very strong, committed relationship. However, we're working on mending the sorrows in our relationship and forging ahead. Some of you, though, this could really be about things aren't changing. I'm not happy in this commitment. And there is sadness, but I'm going to have to move on. Single. I'm going to have to move on to be happy. For those of you who are who are single, um, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles, again, he's a slower moving knight. So it's like you've been waiting and waiting for a commitment or a relationship or something of substance, you know, a relationship that's of substance to come into your life. This is telling you that there's a change coming about. You know, we saw this with the with like the tower card here. Um, there's a sudden change coming about. So what has been consistent is now changing and there's a relationship on the horizon and it's taking you out of a sorrowful place where you've maybe thought well can i have a relationship you know is the right person ever going to come in and for those of you who are single this is going to be a beautiful partnership because we have the two of cups here okay